want to welcome my viewers from across the globe today. Today we'll be taking a step away from our geopolitical analysis uh, with regard to Africa, and we'll be doing a tribute to a gentleman that has impacted my life, and I also believe the lives of hundreds of thousands of people out there. His name is Dr. Michael Mosley. Now, a few days ago, we all woke up to the news that a British TV doctor was missing during his holiday in Greece. I was curious, and I wanted to know who this doctor was. I searched the internet and discovered that it was Dr. Mosley that went missing. And then I said a silent prayer in my heart. I said, Lord, please let them find him alive. And just yesterday it was confirmed that he was found, that he was found dead, unfortunately. And since then, tributes have been pouring in from friends and associates and those whose lives were impacted by this wonderful man. I also want to offer my tribute, not because I'm a member of his family, not because I'm a friend, but I'm someone who benefited from his work. The man, Dr. Mosley, is a lover of humanity. His research work is of benefit to many, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. So the question you may ask is, how did Dr. Mosley impact uh, my life, a man like me? And why do I talk about him on this channel that is devoted to discussing African issues? My answer to that is, please keep watching till the end of this show. Now, in 2013, I suddenly realized that I woke up at about 2 a.m. and would no longer sleep. I've never experienced this kind of thing before. And I thought it was because of the stress that resulted from my days and nights of studying hard and getting ready for and writing my law exams. I thought it, it was something that would disappear over a period of time, but it persisted. And I decided to see my GP, that's my doctor. Now the lady doctor asked me what I've been doing lately. And I replied that I've been working, working hard in school and also doing my official work. And then she brought out her instrument. She measured my blood pressure. And then he, she took something out, something that looked like a needle. And then she quickly pricked my finger and blood came out. And then she did her measurement and she told me that my blood pressure was too high and that my blood sugar levels were also high. And then she said something that shocked me. She said I was pre-diabetic. Oh my goodness, I was very shocked. And I really panicked because I've heard, I've read stories about this con how this condition, how it would silently kill people. And uh, I must do something about it, I said to myself. So she prescribed medication for blood pressure, but did not prescribe any medication for blood sugar. And I was curious. So from 2013 to 2016, I was searching for a solution to my blood sugar condition. I couldn't find anything that could help me. And one day, by chance, I tuned on to a BBC program and listened to what they were discussing about high blood sugar and how it can be normalized. They were talking about pre-diabetic condition and how even type 2 diabetes can be reversed. At the end of the program, a book titled The Eight-Week Blood Sugar Diet, Lose Weight Fast and Reprogram Your Body. That book, written by Dr. Michael Mosley, was recommended. That's the book I'm showing you right now on the screen. Right. So this book immediately I ordered it from Amazon and began to implement the dietary recommendations. I followed the recommendations religiously 
And in 10 weeks, I shed 10 kilograms of weight. My waistline dropped from 40 inches to 36 inches and has remained so. People who knew me were asking me, what have you done to yourself? How did you manage to lose weight so quickly? I told them I didn't take any medication. I also was not doing any exercises. I lost weight simply by following dietary recommendations in this particular book that you see here. So after three months, I went back to my GP and she checked again. And then she was shocked at the new me. She told me that my blood sugar has normalized and I didn't have high blood pressure anymore. So that was my encounter with Dr. Michael Mosley. But it didn't stop there. Dr. Mosley also recommended that even after shedding weight, it is important to not build up weight again. His book, Fast Exercise, contains all the exercises that one must do to not add weight again. Dr. Mosley taught me that pre-diabetic condition and type 2 diabetes can be reversed. He also taught me that physical exercises are important to healthy living. Even God acknowledges that. He said bodily exercise profited but a little. So the issue of high blood pressure and diabetes, these are serious health issues ravaging the African community, both at home, on the continent, and in the diaspora. And this is because our diet consists mainly of carbohydrates. Now, Dr. Mosley taught me the importance of taking the right kind of healthy foods. I learned something about glycemic index and why I must run away from foods that are high on the glycemic index. I never heard about glycemic index all my adult life. I also learned that I must take fruits, vegetables, enough protein and nuts from him. So most Africans watching this program may ask, how did our forefathers, our ancestors, how did they survive foods that are high in carbohydrates? Well, the answer to that is that our forefathers, our ancestors, they did not live sedentary lives. They were always on the move, always at work on their farms. And this helped them to burn off excess fat, excess sugar in their blood. Now, this does not mean that we should do away with carbs, but carbs must be taken in moderation. I still do take carbs in. But what do I do? I follow this rule. That is what we call the feast rule. Now, the kind of carb you must take must be just like this. It shouldn't be beyond this, your feast. And that, that feast size of carb is enough for a grown-up adult. And when your stomach is still craving for more food, simply take one or two glasses of water and you'll be okay. You will not die from eating reduced portions. You will not die. So, but what happens these days, these days we're very sedentary. We sit at home and we use remote control to watch one program or the other on TV. Our forefathers did not have TV sets. We sit in our offices and press on the computer from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., our forefathers did not have computers. They did manual work. We drive in our air-conditioned cars. We barely can walk one kilometer. Our ancestors and our forefathers did not have cars. They walked. Their legs were their cars. Now, these are the reasons why we, Africans of this generation, have diverse health challenges. So I want to recommend Dr. Mosley's book to those who may be watching this show. And please share this video to spread awareness. Now, YouTube, please note 
that this recommendation is not paid for. Don't come and say that I'm advertising somebody's uh, work. It is something that I am doing because I benefited from it and I want people, I want many more people to benefit from that uh, uh, work that Dr. Mosley did. So as we bring this tribute, this show to an end, we want to say we thank God for the life that Dr. Mosley lived. It is not how far, but how well. He lived a life that was impactful, a life that touched the lives of thousands, if not millions of people. And I want to register my condolences to the family of Dr. Michael Mosley. I want to thank my viewers for watching. If you found this show very informative, kindly consider to subscribe to this channel. Also consider to like what we do and then consider to share. For those of you who are watching, especially uh, Africans like myself who are watching, and you know somebody who may have been diagnosed with pre-diabetic condition or even type 2 diabetes, please share this video with them. Recommend this book for them. This book can easily be purchased. You can just order it from Amazon. Now, you may also support our show through the purchase of Super Thanks. Uh, you may choose to be a member of this channel. Whichever way you choose to support us, I want to say that I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. Bye.